Hi Aries, this is Shara from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to your reading for the 27th to the 3rd of May. If uh, Thank you very much for sharing and liking, that's my uh, to my Cyber Angels and welcome to the new people and if you would like to join into the, in the live sessions uh, I give away free, free cards and um, I'm also available for uh, questions after a donation of a super chat or a super sticker and if you can't pay in the, the live sessions then you can prepay before I do go live because I do get a notification from PayPal saying that I've received money some countries they can't do the super chats but they can pay through PayPal but not in a live session in YouTube so please subscribe and hit that bell and when you hit the bell then take the choice for all otherwise you will not get notified um, and you can do super chats also to jump the queue now if you prefer to get a fully fledged um, e um, extensive reading then go to uh, go to my website or go below the video there you will find the information and also in the corner of the, the this screen you will find a white circle with an eye that will take you straight to my website and there you can see the uh, readings on offer I'm using the Archangel Metatron and I'm using the Mythic deck and the Tea Leaf deck and I, a lot of people uh, love the Metatron so I thought I would use them this week um, as he is one of my favorite Archangels as well he's the Archangel for um, helping and buying a house or seeking a house, moving home and also protection, shelter in other words and he's also the Archangel that works with esoterical geometrical shapes and you're the first one that I have, have said that with because I think a lot of you might have seen my review so you will see it, uh, know it and if you would like to see the other of the other cards um, then go and have a look at the review you can find it on my website and in the playlist I love uh, to meet you so please join us in the live sessions and my Ar uh, cyber angels thank you for coming back and being loyal and sharing and liking let's get started with your reading my darlings and you have the purse pay attention to your finances pay attention to the finances and Pisces had something like that as well you might seek um, uh, advice on your finances um, or this could be uh, with regard to a tax return or income tax as you have the king of swords and he represents also Gemini but don't exclude any other air sign like Libra and Aquarius but the king prominently uh, means uh, Gemini um, this man uh, is has wisdom he can communicate and sell ice cubes to Eskimos and he's well read because he also stands for the letter of the law justice clarity and honesty so that's what the swords stand for this could be a man of the law this could be a man of an institution or a municipality this could be a school, a hospital, uh, uh, also he could be a butcher anything that cuts like a hairdresser uh, knives because the butcher uses knives this could also be a surgeon so perhaps you might be seeking advice from a surgeon, who knows and uh, you, um, he needs clarity and honesty and he gives that as well so uh, um, Aries you might have Gemini in your chart and you might need clarity about your finances or something else and that's why you're seeking advice okay a bookkeeper is also a man of the law um, as he has to know lawfully how to uh, do bookkeeping so that could also be a person that you're seeking advice 
now you've got the card love and six relationships and harmony relationships and harmony and love and six means that you are in balance love might be coming towards you as well so it could be a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarian and you you might be concerned about uh, financial issues if you are in love you might be getting married who knows good because we've got justice here it might be the registry office so you might want to throw a party or get married and and that um, costs money so be careful of what you can afford and your finances as that is the first card you had on Wednesday you have the unicorn and the unicorn use your intuition and make beneficial changes use your intuition to make beneficial changes something magic is in the air that is what I'm feeling and I was talking about getting married in the registry office and I haven't seen really these cards and boom this is quite a busy card and it hadn't dawned on me that it was the ten of pentacles so you might be getting married happy families there might be reunion there might be um, money coming in as the ten of pentacles also means inheritances you might actually receive an inheritance and don't know what to do with it sorry about that Aries it is an inheritance yes it could be but it could also be that you have won the lottery or a sum of money or you might be getting a gift it's anyway it means happy families or reunion especially after the lockdown uh, in some countries they are easing up and children are allowed to go out again so you might be going out for a picnic or in this beautiful weather although in some countries it could still be cold and you've got number 39 which means a 12 and that becomes a 3 so that's creativity you've got green heart healing your heart is healing if you have lost somebody I'm sorry my condolences to you um, but let's keep it on the bright side um, you might if you have lost somebody your heart will be healing the angels are with you know that you are not alone and if you um, do would like to have healing then join us in the live sessions as I do healings in live sessions as well just ask for a healing and and you'll be you're all in my prayers and healing sessions offline as well so set the intention to receive the healing on Friday you have the caterpillar now to me the caterpillar means that you're in a transformational period things will not always be this this way a change is coming so like I said you might be going outside and meeting up with family and friends again uh, reunion so uh, this this period that we are in at the moment it is definitely not going to stay the same you have the fall and that means a new beginning so both of these cards really mean a transformational period leaving the old behind and jumping into a new unknown beginning then you have the card 53 is the number on this card and it means codependency key to freedom you might feel locked up well we all feel locked up and we are frustrated so you're getting the key to free yourself from codependency or being locked up you might not be codependent and uh, somebody else might be de uh, codependent on you that you're the backbone to them and you will find a way to break free you've got a uh, 53 here and that becomes an 8 so you will be standing in your power as that is the house of money and power you might want to uh, break free and want to be independent perhaps that is the question and so somebody in the family is giving you a gift to start up your own home or to rent your home 
or you will find a way um, of earning money as you've been to see an advisor. At the weekend you have the firecracker excitement. You have excitement firecracker. So something has happened. The change has happened by the end of the week. There's something, there's a new insight and you've got the page of ones. The page of ones is Sagittarius as the pages also represent a zodiac sign. The king is Aries, the queen is Leo and the page is Sagittarius. So you might be meeting the Sagittarius or you might get news and this news uh, usually with the night you have to act upon it because the night also means moving home but I think you have to act swiftly because fire is swift and look at this flame and he's traveling quickly on the back of a ram so it means that you have to act swiftly upon this news or this news could come unexpectedly very quickly and uh, you've got pink pink is love so it could be a new love a fire sign uh, you've got number 26 again 8 so you are in balance you are strong you're in your money house and in your strength you've got 8 there and you've got 8 here so self love and nurture yes if you do stand on your own you do have to love yourself and you you have more time to love yourself and you have to nurture yourself the overall energy we have the emperor the emperor he also represents aries and aries you are could meet an aries but you could also be in your element in your ecstasy as you have the Emperor, you might feel like the Emperor uh, or the Empress because they they are, are people um, the Empress is also a rich person and she's above the stages above the King and the Queen so is the Emperor he is higher than the Kings so you are in your uh, in your um, ultimate uh, element you feel wow you've got the world in your hands you can delegate and you can do anything you want you feel in your strength and you've got two eights there so that's an, a double number an angel number 88 so there you go the angels are with you Aries here you've got number 38 and that's 11 and again an angel number a doorway the angels are giving you a new beginning light body you're you feeling light and you feel energetic you feel full of fire you've got definitely fire within you you're ready for action your chakras are cleared you feel well you feel healthy you feel in as one a wholesome I mean and here you've got healing pause to receive and like I said I do healings uh, even online or offline so set the intention to receive the healing and know that the angels are with you and that you're no longer alone I hope you've enjoyed this reading Aries and sorry about the uh, breakup okay uh, of the video uh, but I'll try to edit it as best as I can. Take care, be blessed and stay safe. Please like and share the video. Ciao, ciao.